Evaluating a piecewise defined function. To evaluate a piecewise function, all you have to do is substitute the value into x of x into the rule uh, for the part of the domain that includes the value of x. So recall we talked about the different classes of students uh, based on the number of credit hours they've earned in college. So let's evaluate these piecewise functions. So let's find f of 20. So in other words, a student who has 20 credit hours, where would they fit in in terms of their class? Would they be a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior? If you said a freshman, that is correct, because recall a freshman, you have zero credits all the way up to 29. f of 30? Yes, f of 30 would be a sophomore because sophomore starts with 30 and goes on to 59. f of 100? Yes, f of 100. If you'll notice anyone that has more than 90 or more, you're automatically considered a senior. 59? Yes, 59 would be that sophomore because once they cross that 60 mark, uh, that is when they become a junior. And so there you have it, uh, evaluating piecewise functions based on uh, the rule uh, for part of the domain. Okay, so let's evaluate a real piecewise defined function. This piecewise defined function consists of two parts. And let's take a look at the rules first, very important. So if the number that you're plugging in, the number for x, if it is less than negative 1, then you will plug that number into this function. If the number you're plugging in is greater than or equal to negative 1, then you will plug your number into this function. So that is how it works. It's based on the rule. So we want to first evaluate f of negative 5. So would you say that negative 5 is less than negative 1 or is negative 5 greater than negative 1? Well, all you have to do is think of the number line. And on the number line, uh, you have 0, then you have negative 1, then you have to keep going. The numbers get smaller and smaller, and you get to negative 5. So therefore, negative 5 is less than negative 1. So that means I'm going to have to plug negative 5 into the function f of x equals 3x. So I'm going to remove the x and replace it with negative 5 and do the math. 3 times negative 5 equals negative 15. So f of negative 5 equals negative 15. Next, I want to evaluate f of negative 1. So I need to find out f of negative 1. Well, I can see here that we're going to wind up using the second function because uh, negative 1 is the same as the number on the right side. And because it says it has this line underneath which consists of equal to uh, negative 1 is equal to negative 1, so it means I have to plug negative 1 into the function f of x equals x minus 2. So I'm going to remove the x and replace it with negative 1. When I do so, it looks like so. When I combine negative 1 with negative 2, I'm going to get an output of negative 3. So therefore, f of negative 1 equals negative 3. We have one more to evaluate. We want to evaluate f of 0. So the number 0 itself 
is it less than negative 1 or is it greater than negative 1? We know it's not the same as negative 1. So if you said greater, that is true because 0 is moving to the right of negative 1. So therefore, 0 is greater than negative 1. So again, we're going to use that second function where we're going to remove the x and replace it with 0. When we do so, it's going to look like so. So therefore, f of 0 will equal negative 2. And there you have it evaluating a piecewise defined function.